Last month's new extended on location segment of the elementary intermediate report was a huge success with the first graders in Ms. Schultz's class at Wooden Elementary. Ms. Schultz wrote to Hawkeye News and told us how much fun her students had being on last month's show. You can read what else Ms. Schultz said about her students learning from the experience at www.hawkeye-news.com. This month, Hawkeye News reporter Roseanne Foster joins us from another classroom. Roseanne? Thanks, Katie and Leslie. Yes, I'm here with my friends at East Ridge Elementary with the entire kindergarten class. Hawkeye News is excited to be here with our second ever live broadcast of the Elementary Intermediate Report. We hope to be visiting a classroom near you really soon, as we only have three more months of school left. So stay tuned to find out where we will be next month. Now let's get started with this month's Elementary Intermediate Report. Wooden Elementary students celebrated the 100th day of school by having a 100th day parade. Students enjoyed various activities during the school day. Students made signs and wore clothing with 100 items attached such as candy and stickers, and they also wore 100 day glasses. Red Oak Elementary Principal Rachel Kistner helped kindergarten students take cans of foods from their backpacks on Friday, January 25, 2008, during the Hawks Care Canned Food Drive. The ROISD students and staff donated food to the North Ellis County Outreach. In return, they all wore their favorite blue jeans. Red Oak Fire Marshal Tim Birdwell and ROISD Police Corporal Byron Hopkins presented eight-year-old Vincent Diablo, third grade student at Red Oak Elementary, Hero Awards for performing the Heimlich Maneuver on his eight-year-old friend Ian Nance, November 2nd, 2007, and saving his life during a football game at Ennis. The stars were out at Shields Elementary for the first grade music program, Lights, Camera, Action. Students dressed as stars and performed musical numbers from SpongeBob SquarePants, Willy Wonka, and High School Musical 2. A decimal treasure hunt, graphing calculators, and the Pythagorean Theorem are some of the topics that have been covered this year in Red Oak Intermediate School's Math Club. This club is for advanced students who want to learn mathematics using a hands-on approach. It is sponsored by math teachers Amanda Matthews and Linda Peterson and meets every Wednesday from 3 to 4. 60 of Red Oak Intermediate students participated in the 2008 Texas Blue Bonnet Book Award voting in January. Students may register by reading any five of the 20 nominated books. This year, Texas students selected On the Road by Lucy Nolan as the 2008 Blue Bonnet Book Award. Sixth grader Haley Johnson won first place in Red Oak Intermediate's fifth annual spelling bee held on January 24th. First runner-up was sixth grader Chase Knudsen and second runner-up was fifth grader Tanner Little. The ROI Spelling Bee is directed by language arts teacher Nanette Mason. The winner at May Pearl will advance to the regional spelling bee sponsored by the Dallas Morning News on March 15th. Hawkeye News would like to welcome Ms. Christy Watts who took over the position of principal because Mr. Major moved to Eastridge. Here is some information about her future plans. A difference that Ms. Watts has already made is the fact that every Jean Day ROI might have will be a spirit day as well. She decided to do this to avoid confusion. Some students weren't sure if they were allowed to wear spirit shirts on jean days or not. A future change Ms. Watts may make is a difference in the master schedule. She believes there is a chance that this could improve daily learning of students. That will wrap up this month's Elementary Intermediate Report, and we look forward to visiting a classroom near you very soon. So for Hawkeye News, I'm Roseanne Foster. Back to you ladies in the studio.